at the same time, the Dodgers, what they did to the Mets was simply... I, I felt bad for the Mets, honestly. The Dodgers had outmatched them. It was such a mismatch in talent. The Dodgers winning Game 3 8 nothing after they won Game 1 10-2. to Unbelievable. Max Muncy having the series of his life. He went 2-for-2 two two in Game 3. Two runs, three walks, an RBI and a homer. Otani with a three-run home run. Enrique Hernandez. Bro can't stop hitting postseason dingers. Walker Bueller, four innings, no earned runs. The Mets didn't stand a chance in Game 3. As the Dodgers held them to just four hits. Jose Iglesias, Mark Vientos, Brandon Nimmo, and Starling Marte spread out four hits. Tyler Miguel really struggled late in the game. The Dodgers, they led 2-0 early, and then they scored six off of their bullpen. Severino, actually, to his credit, pitched well, but the Dodgers really opened the game up late. Game four, another Dodgers win, and it was very clear in game four. Again, there was no way after game four that the Mets were going to win that series. Dodgers win 10-2. to they open the game up two, uh, up three, three two. They got two more in the fourth, make it five two. Then two more in the sixth to make it seven two, and then three in the eighth to make it ten two. Rolling, I mean, absolutely rolling. Mookie bets four for six, four runs batted in, a home run, three runs scored. Otani one for three with three walks and a homer. Everybody's hitting dingers for the Dodgers. Everybody is. Teoscar playing well. Tommy Edmond, two for six with three runs batted in. Kike went two for five. Muncie, one for three with, no, one for two with three walks. Chris Taylor got a base hit. He doesn't even hit anymore. Yamamoto, four and a third, two earned runs, eight strikeouts. And the Dodgers bullpen shuts it down. Edgardo Henriquez, Blake Trine, and Evan Phillips. This is a fantastic Dodgers team. For the Mets, all they can muster up, a solo home run from Mark Vientos. Put him on the board early, but they struggled a lot in Game 4. And to their credit, the Mets did have a pretty good Game 5. They actually won a second game, so more than Cleveland could do. 12-6 to six was the score, another offensive master class. Dodgers' Jack Flaherty really struggled. He allowed eight earned runs in three innings. As the Mets really laid it on them, Brandon Nimmo going one for four with an RBI. Lindor, two for four. Pete Alonso, who's batting sixth for some reason, went two for three with three runs batted in in a home run. Jesse Winker, two for three uh, with an RBI. Starling Marte had an amazing day. Four for five, three runs batted in. Um, Jeff McNeil with a couple runs batted in. And Francisco Alvarez. So the Mets were humming on offense. David Peterson got the start, pitched well enough. 12-6 to was your final there. But with the series heading back to L.A., it felt inevitable. It, it never felt like the Mets were going to be able to win three straight. And they, of course, did not even win two straight. Because the Dodgers are going to the World Series, baby. They win game six by a score of 10-5. to So... You look at the winning scores in this series, 9, 7, 8, 10, 12, 10. This was an offensive-dominated series. The Dodgers, their, their, champ, their real championship series was the Padres. They opened up with a 6-1 to one lead in the third inning. Mets fought back to make it 6-3. Dodgers made it 7-3. Mets made it 7-4. And then in the eighth inning, Dodgers added three, and that was all she wrote. And it was, this was a bullpen game for both teams. The Dodgers with a bullpen game. Michael Kopik, Ben Kasparius, Anthony Banda, Ryan Brazier, Evan Phillips, Daniel Hudson, Blake Trinan. Seven pitchers. None of them pitched more than two innings. In fact, only their closer, Blake Trinan, pitched a full two innings. Didn't matter. It was a mismatch of talent. The Dodgers were clearly the better team. Tommy Edmond with another home run. Will Smith with a homer. Otani with a couple of hits. Teoscar went two for four. Edmond two for four. 
Chris Taylor went two for three, was their starting second baseman. They're winning with role players. They're winning with... They're, they Obviously, they have the great Otani, the great Mookie Betts. Freddie Freeman's not even playing those last couple games. And we'll see if he's back for the World Series. But the Dodgers are unstoppable. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see how the Yankees can beat the Dodgers. We'll see if they can. Maybe they'll prove me wrong. I don't see how that's going to happen. 